Brady and Jim Gray. You got anything you'd like to ask Tom before we go, CJ? Yeah, man. I would just ask, like, when you started playing well, what was the process of um, your mentality? Like, how did you stay on a straight and narrow? Um, even like, you know, you have people reaching out and uh, family and like the, just the world around you seems like it's spinning and you're it's just getting fucking loud right now. Stay yeah. in, great, on a straight and narrow. Question. I think the important thing great. I really want you to realize, this is now your job. Everyone, when they come to the game, it's a vacation. It's fun for them. Oh, my God, we're here to watch, you know, CJ play. For you, you know, you don't bust in on your, on your friends at their job. And, you know, when they're trying to be really focused and do what they need to do. Hey, can I interrupt you? Hey, I know there's a really busy time for you, but let's go do something fun. Or, you know, you don't need to be the source of people's entertainment over the course of the season. This is – it's not college anymore. The earlier you get it in your mind that this is a profession and you're a professional and everyone is counting on you and you can't have a bad day like Coach Day taught you. And you're in an organization where D'Amico is a great coach. Um, Nick Cesario, you know, I've got a long relationship with. His name okay. You know, all these guys are counting on you. It's not <laughs> – it's fun. The process of winning is fun. You know, the memories you're going to have from a great season are fun. The games are fun. The practice, the camaraderie is fun. You know, trying to create fun for everybody else outside of that isn't your responsibility. You're not camp counselor for everyone's fun activities. You're out there trying to perform, trying to dig deep for your teammates, and that requires intense focus for a long period of time. There's discipline that starts the beginning in August all the way through the end of the season. Fuck these people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much what go. Tom told him, but like – that was a great question for him yeah. to Tom, especially when he got the opportunity and in the middle of what he's in the middle of. Everything he does is right in my eyes, and great answer by Tom. Though. Yeah, especially when everybody, you know, patting him on the back right now. He's in the MVP conversation, rookie of the year, you know, obviously second overall pick, and now you're leading this franchise to places. You know, a lot of people have him as the contenders in the AFC, so that's a great question to ask, obviously, to Tom Brady, who's been there and dealt with that, you know, for a long time. I think it was a great answer as well, but uh, to watch him go through a game like this where it's not all – Perfect. You know, you throw three interceptions and then hear him have that mindset. Hey, Steph ain't going to stop shooting. I just love everything about this kid. Man. That ball to tank. Oh, yeah. Flat-legged. Oh, basic just spin mm -hmm. that thing. Huck. After having the game that he had, it, the, I watched a Steph Curry documentary. Uh, I forget what it was called. Uh, Fox, under remember? Underrated? Underrated. Yeah. They were, the reason why he got oh. the scholarship offer that he got, which makes no sense to me. His dad was in the <laughs> NBA. He grew up in the NBA. Let's assume he's going to be good. You guys are giving scholarships to bums. Big How bro. did he not get a scholarship to any of these big schools? I will never know. But the coach that ended up giving him a scholarship went and scouted him the first time in high school. And he said, yeah, he shot terrible. But there was never a single doubt the next time he got the ball that he was shooting. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, that type of confidence is a massive – like that's a trait that you need to have. It's, have. If you're going to be a quarterback, have to have an unflappable confidence. Have to be able to bounce right back. I mean, Darius is a corner. They talk about having to forget literally mm -hmm. the next play. You have to be the baddest motherfucker on the field at corner, even if you just got smoked, like absolutely smoked. you got to line back up and be the guy. That type of confidence, once you lose it, I think it's – Potentially gone forever, but CJ having it and being humble at the same time, it just continues to grow. Like, this dude is the guy, AJ. He's the guy. Yeah, it's, it's funny to see how, how mature he seems to where he's in, he's living in this moment where he knows, like, probably when he's older, he'll look back like, man, that was a crazy year. That was awesome. Like, I came in there in Houston mm -hmm. what he was able to do. But he's, he's, like, aware of the moment of where he's at and how special it is kind of. So he's trying to, like, get a jump start on, hey, how do I – I can see some for – some problems in the future like the other people may have let you know slip them up a little bit so yeah great question tom i love tom saying that like, you're not everybody's source of entertainment you're not camp camp counselor like you guys can do your thing but I i'm gonna opt out of a lot of that probably think about tom having to deal with that with bill belichick yeah with his family his family was around a lot oh yeah and he had a yeah. couple family right yeah well uh bridget the, the first son uh, that he has she she wasn't around as much but the entire family including the brady's were around. but just think about all the because they talk about super bowl week it's like what are you telling your team well i'm telling them to get every all the tickets and everything out of the way because mm -hmm. that can become a lot that can become a lot and very yeah. expensive too. the kelsey doc they they showed that very well 
when Kelsey's wife is trying to plan the uh, Super Bowl weekend and how many tickets and everything they were talking about. Do you remember that? From oh, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that. That is, is Daughter came walking in. Yeah. Do you want to go to the Super Bowl or you want to watch it at home? It's like 10000 bucks a ticket. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I want to see it. He's like, all right, well. <laughs> okay. Sure you that's pay another twenty grand. Yeah. Yeah. That's like every yep. every player. Obviously not just a quarterback, just a big time. He has to deal with it on a much different scale with media and everything. You know, I'm sure people are trying to get him to do different things. But like every player, once you go to the NFL, like you go and play in a different city, it's family members or it's friends, somebody you went to high school or hey. college with, and it's yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. It's like you know, it's the best time of their life. 